The campaign is very, very different from uh, any other that we've had, not just for myself, but for others as well because of the COVID uh, pandemic. Uh, we're very respectful of people uh, and uh, their health and their well-being, not only of themselves, but their families. So uh, we're uh, attempting to reach folks by social media. Uh, we're attempting to reach folks by a mailer that we're going to be doing soon. Uh, and this Saturday today is the busiest Saturday I've had in six months, uh, kind of like Saturdays used to be prior to COVID. Uh, today I've had six different events, uh, two more to go to after this, and uh, we're, we're actually finally out meeting people, and uh, that, that's a good thing. So we're hoping people stay safe, hope they wash their hands, uh, and, uh, and stay healthy, but most of all participate in this election process from the top right down to the bottom. You can ask for an absentee ballot if you're so inclined. You can vote in person. Uh, and I'd appreciate everybody's support. I, I enjoy doing what I'm doing. I enjoy helping people, uh, no matter who you are, where you come from, uh, whether you're registered to vote or not. Uh, if you've got an issue with the state of New York, we're here to help you. What do you think are the main issues of the campaign that people should be focused on? Well, we're going to be looking uh, at an unbelievable budget deficit at the state level, which of course funnels down to towns and villages and cities, uh, school districts. Uh, so the shortage of money uh, from uh, revenue sources, I think we have to look at cutting spending uh, and cutting some of the programs that we have uh, to be able to match the rebounding economy uh, as we get through this COVID pandemic. The bail reform laws that we passed this last year, against my uh, against my wishes, uh, has certainly uh, come to bear that you can commit crimes uh, and not have any responsibility or not be held uh, accountable for them. There used to be an adage called "crime doesn't pay." These days, that's changed to "crime does pay," and we need to return to some normalcy. We need to have people respected for their viewpoints. Those that want to uh, demonstrate uh, without violence, without rioting, without burning, without committing mayhem, are certainly that's what America is all about. But what's going on in, in this country right now and in this state is unacceptable. So uh, why should a voter vote for you instead of your opponent? Well, I'd like to think that my record uh, is very clear. As I mentioned earlier, uh, I like helping people. That's what I do uh, in my occupation. That's what I've done in this community, whether it's through the Rotary Club or United Way or Farm Bureau or Cooperative Extension, uh, Genesee Valley Boses Board of Education member. I believe that my experience and background and the 14 years I've been in the assembly at this point uh, are certainly something that should uh, help people to support my candidacy. I enjoy doing what I'm doing, and I'm very honored to be able to do it.